What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Just Dale. I'm here with my Wrong Agenda weekly recap. It's been a crazy week. I know I'm a day late. I usually drop these on Sundays, but I've been feeling like trash. And I gave you guys an update on the Jake Paul Tyson thing, like, just a couple of days ago. So, whatever. I'm here now. Okay. Let's talk. Uh, what do we have today? Uh, since we were already talking about boxing, it seems to be the hot topic you guys just love. Um, Anthony Joshua, Kyoto uh, Nagano, that's how you say his name, right? You know, the big UFC guy got into boxing. Uh, second round, he was down. And at this point, I don't know, heavyweight boxing just isn't, hasn't been doing it for me lately. Uh, do I want to see Joshua face Tyson Fury? I do. But just because it feels like he should. The same thing with him and Wilder. Like, am I really excited? Eh. Probably, probably would be more excited about Joshua and Fury, to be honest, than, than Wilder at this point. But, um, yeah, so that happened. Let's see. What else is big this week? Well, let me just take a moment out to say rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. If you don't know who that is, I don't know what's wrong with you. But he is the creator of Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball franchise, known and beloved through generations, many and many a people. Like Dragon Ball is a staple in the world. It's he's I can't even begin to express the type of impact Dragon Ball and this man has had on everything from manga to video games to anime to, to everything, just cultural it's just a staple in the world. I don't know many people who didn't want to hit someone with a Kamehameha or power up to Super Saiyan one day because somebody pissed them off. Yeah, I lost a great one. Yeah, rest in peace in him. Man. Like his his work has touched so many people. I grew up on it. People today are growing up on it, and I hope they continue it on in a way that will make him proud. So rest in peace to you. But um, the good part about missing out on dropping this on Sunday was I got to check out the Oscars and the winners. I watched some of it. I seen Ryan Gosling perform as Ken. Always number two. No one knows how hard I try. Yep, that was interesting. Good for him. Um. It pretty much was what I thought it was gonna be. Um, Oppenheimer. Let me let me look at my list of all the things that okay, here we go. Let's focus here. Oppenheimer. We got a... Um, sorry, my eyes been moving. Oppenheimer, we got a best picture, best supporting actor, Robert Downey Jr., best editing, best cinematography, best original score. Best actor, Cillian Murphy. Uh, best director, Christopher Nolan. No surprise there. Guy's freaking amazing. One of the best to ever do it. And that pretty much sums up the Oscars for me. Uh, with the exception of best visual effects going to Godzilla Minus One. Presented by none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger as Godzilla. You're up. And the Oscar goes to... Here we go. This is... Uh... Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought it was hilarious. Bravo. Now, best visual effects. Eh. Should it have one? Eh. I don't know. I enjoyed the movie, though. I think the movie was freaking amazing. So I'm glad they took something home, regardless of what it was. Because really, these things now, with these awards and shows, is. Eh. But I'm happy for them. I really enjoyed that movie. I actually didn't see it during this original run in theaters. But I went back when it got re-released. And I was like, I'm going to check it out. And I was surprised. I, I loved it. Loved it. One of my top films of the past 365 days. Yeah, so congratulations to those guys. Visual effects. Um, Margot Robbie and Barbie, I was surprised. Didn't get a lot of love there. I was kind of shocked by that. Margot Robbie is just one of those actresses 
I really, I really like Margot Robbie. I enjoy her. I enjoy her performances, her interviews. She just seems like a Hollywood person to me. She embodies that. But with that being said, and me personally just liking her, if I really had to think about it, I don't really enjoy a lot of her movies. Or should I say a lot of the movies she's in. A lot of the films she's in are meh, mid. Uh, I would say my favorite film that she was a part of was probably Birds of Prey. And I'm here to report a terrible crime. Right now, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. The favorite film that she was a part of is definitely Wolf of Wall Street. Scorsese, freaking killer movie. Actually, we have an interview with one of the actors from that film on our channel. Check it out. Uh, Daryl Jermaine. Shout out to him. Cool guy. Talks about a cool story of him meeting Scorsese. It's interesting. Anyway, yeah, so I kind of wish she would get something. I think she won an award for I, Tanya, maybe, if I recall correctly. Maybe she didn't. She had a few nominations, but I felt like this was this was a time for her to get something. Something. I think Barbie won best song in a movie. I don't know. Something like that. But she didn't get an award. So <sighs> I don't know. Shout out to Margaret Robbie. Great actress. Great, seemingly great person. Moving on. We got an article, of course, on the website now about crypto for you crypto heads and cryptocurrency people. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is currently like at 72,000. It's at an all time high. So if you invested in Bitcoin, no matter where you invested, you're you're up right now. So good to you and everyone in all the other coins, you know, crap coins, whatever they want to call them. Um, yeah, good for you guys. I hope you're all making money. Actually, I hope we're all making money. Yeah. Yeah. I invest in crypto. I've been there for a few years. Not bad. Um, okay. Let's talk about not much video game news this week. Uh, I know Spider-Man had an update some controversy there about some things getting leaked about the next DLC. I won't say it if you need to find out about it. Maybe we'll write about it on the website or you could just Google it or look it up. And um, streaming news, Kai Sanat is in Africa. He's in Nigeria. He's been streaming from Ghana, Nigeria for the last couple of days. If you want some interesting content and see a different view of the world through the in real life IRL eyes of Kai Sanat, Check it out, you know, check out his stream, check out his YouTube. There's always got interesting stuff going on there. I like the travel stuff the most. Who doesn't like travel videos? You can't go, might as well watch someone go, right? Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. So thank you guys. Um, I'll probably try to do a, an exciting focus piece sometime this week. I don't know what I'm going to do it on, but I'm going to celebrate someone. We're going to have an in-depth. Maybe I'll do a movie review. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure y'all comment, like, and most importantly, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to keep this thing going. The website's going to keep going. I'm trying to get some dope interviews for you guys. If you got any suggestions or anyone for me to reach out to who you think would be a good interview, hey, let me know in the comments. But make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. And um, that's that for today. See ya.